was just uh, getting myself some breakfast. Would you care to join me? <laughs> I'm sure you would. Let's see here. Um, got some, uh, got some honey munches of oats, both in the uh, honey roasted and, of course, the almond variety. Very nice. And, um, also got some, some Cheerios crunch. <laughs> Love the crunch. And, uh, also got some granola. It's called Bare Naked. <laughs> Isn't that scandalous? Um, I think I'm gonna go with some of this. You know, I'm pretty much in the mood for some, uh, some granola with some raisins. As I'm sure we all are at some point. So, uh, let's go sit down at the table. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Got my, um, granola here. Got a little cup for me to eat it out of. Here's just a little bit of granola and um, just, just a little raisin for some flavoring. And uh, I think that's about all I'll have, you know, for breakfast this morning. Because, you know, there's nothing I hate more than when you go out to a fancy restaurant and they always give you such big portions. It's like, I cannot handle all of this food. I just want a little something to tie me over until dinner, you know? It's But they give you such big portions and it's, I don't want that. Just want a little, little treat, you know? Just a little taste. Simply delicious. But, uh, you know, I think I really can't finish all of this, so I'm just going to put the rest back. There you go. Tucked in safely. Wrap it back up. And okay. We're good to go. Okay. The next thing I want to introduce you to is something that I really consider one of my most favorite pastimes and that would be interior designing. I've been kind of mingling with it on and off for the last couple of years, and it's something I'm really passionate about, so I just wanted to share it with you. Okay, over here you're gonna notice some things that I've been doing with this room. Um, I recently just got a new paint job, and I got some new sheets for the bed. As you can see, they're quite delightful, but I really feel like they're missing something, don't you? Um, I don't know. Oh, I see it now. It is the perfect thing. You guys are going to love this. Things that I love to decorate with are pillows that have just, you know, cute little things about, you know, usually little puppies or kitties. Like this one says, cats make a perfect friend. Isn't that adorable? How it has like, perfect, but then it's like a kitty going, purr. Another thing that I simply must always have next to my bed is some Dr. Phil books. This one is called Life Strategies, Doing What Works and Doing What Matters. But really, my favorite is Self Matters. Look at how serious he looks. Look at him. He is serious about helping your problems. He's saying, I know you've got problems and I want to help you with them because I'm Dr. Phil. I'm Oprah's husband. I want to be your friend. Isn't he great? See, let me show you some tips in here that I've got it bookmarked right here. You see? Um, it says, your internal dialogue is constant. The time you spend with other people, even those who share most intimately in your life, cannot compare with the time you spend with yourself. Isn't that amazing how he can just reach into your soul? and really bring out the things that matter. He's, he's amazing, I swear by him. He's just so good. Hold on, I need to put on some lotion before we go. My hands are getting a little bit dry. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what that's like in this weather. <laughs> Woo! Okay, let's go. Another one of my favorites is my ceramic bird collection. You see, I've been collecting them for several years now, and I've gotten a pretty big collection. 
Oh, let me just show you some of my favorites. Uh, let's see. This priceless Red Canary, which I simply love because, you see, I got this up in uh, Wisconsin Rapids when I was, um, you know, going down the, the rapids, touring. Um, and I stopped by this little gift shop on the way, and uh, I simply fell in love and couldn't live without it. Another one of my favorites is this delicate little hummingbird. Um, just simply because it reminds me of the character from Pocahontas that I love so much. So really, I just wanted to add a hummingbird to my collection simply because of the Pocahontas movie. You can understand that, right? Last and certainly least is this bird right here. Check it out. Let's get really close on this one because it's extra special. Uh, see, I got this one when I was up in Oregon Springs. He was staring at me through a little gift shop window and I stopped and I was like, Oh my god, that is the most perfect little bird ever. I've got to have it. And so I got it, and now it's mine. And it's become one of my favorite and most treasured bird figurine pieces. So there you go. What was that, Fluffenheimer Smith? What did you just say to me? My bird collection is what? Oh my god, don't you ever, ever insult my bird collection again. Those are Precious, precious things to me. And if you say one more word about them, I'm going to kick you out. Fluffy is being a very naughty boy right now. So I'm going to have to go deal with him, give him a little no-no discipline, and uh, maybe some other time we can continue this little journey of my life. So hopefully I'll get to talk to you guys soon. Um, it's been great talking to you. Thanks for coming. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Get off, dumb dog. I hate this.